We're not happy. <laughs> I mean, kind of tough to be happy, you know, when you're watching your squad is the most beautiful game on earth and you realize that some dreams have dashed. Rivals' dreams have dashed, so that makes it feel okay. Rivals have a goal taken away in the very last minute of things. And then all this hooping and hollering, both your teams lose. Spanish, English, no one's doing great right now. But we're here. We're here to talk about it. It may not be the happiest of episodes, but <laughs> always we're going to be real. Welcome to Chaos of Conversation, kicking it with the Brothers Edition. Charles is back from being under the hood, if you will. Uh, and he is out. He is outside. You know who's not outside? Pedri isn't outside. This is. He's on the outside of the box, not making any fucking penetrating runs to the box, not doing any passes to the box. I just want to note that this is now officially a Thursday pod in, in the saddest way possible. <laughs> <laughs> We're recording a Thursday. A fuck, a and we Thursday. are a Thursday pod. This is a Thursday 100%. pod, man. Like, yes. it's, going to it's going to be a busy day of the week for us starting now, man. Jesus yeah. Christ. Like, yeah, it's fucking terrible. Great. Like yeah. I said, yeah. Um, we're still getting football pretty much uh, every three days. So as long as our, you know, at the end of the day, we love, we, we love to see our squads play. So, we, you know, we're, we're rain, rain, rain or shine. We're going to ride it out for our team. So, I mean, I, I'm a support. It sucks that we're there. We found ourselves in this position. Um, I'm, I'm not one to cry over spilled milk, but you know, all handballs matter. Um, <laughs> always, always, and I, you know, so, uh, you know, it's a, it's a project, man. And you gotta, you know, with project, you gotta take the good and the bad. Welcome to the show, everybody. Michael Lofton, as you said, chaos of conversation, kicking with the Brothers Edition, as always, with your boy Charles. Uh, and he just gave you a little bit pontification. This isn't the first time we're going to talk about Barcelona. will be the last on the pod. Uh, but take you to the Champions League. We have Madrid 2, RB Leipzig 3. And the 2 was even late with Rodrigo with a penalty. Um Watch the game. The squad depth is there for Madrid. The quality of squad depth may not be Champions League as well as winning the La Liga double worthy. Now, where have they been? Great. Obviously, in La Liga doing their thing. But first Champions League loss in a long, long, long time since last April. Excuse me. Uh, First Champions League loss uh, since um, what would have been last uh, last uh, December. However, Madrid still top of the group. Uh, they have a their last match will be against uh, Celtic at the Bernabeu. Uh, you just assume that they're going to handle their business. Leipzig is uh, versus Shakhtar. Shakhtar that is a huge game by the way. Shakhtar will be hosting them, and they actually have the goal difference on Leipzig. So three points there, no matter what gets them to the next round. Leipzig would then go into the Europa. Uh, Celtic has no chance of getting to Europa. Um, so there we are. And so we saw that um, Ancelotti changed his lineup a good deal. Charles, you see Madrid up close and personal. I, can they still win the Champions League if there is the dependency on Luka Modric in, to be a leader, to be a creator, uh, when you play the guys at Kamavinga. Uh, just your quick thoughts on that. I think that you guys are trying to – last year you guys won the championship on Guile Smarts. I think you're trying to, like, do a s small, like, repeat of that and trying to, like, pace yourself in this. And I just think eventually, like, you're going to go to pull that, like, switch – and I don't think it's going to go the way it went last year. Um, I think you guys are going to put yourselves in a first leg hole in one of these two way ties, and you're not going to be able to like you'll play solidly. You might even win the game, but you're going to like not the math isn't going to math right or whatever. And I just think you guys are it just I won the draw matters, but I do think on a, on a team 
it's I think a team like Byron would give them, you know, just like I said, depending on matchups, a team like Byron would give them issues. Teams like Byron would give anybody issues. But teams that I'm, I mean, I'm really going on ball teams that move the ball quickly. Oh, um, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's a problem. Because that's I mean, I think that's like the one thing that I, I notice when I do watch you guys is like you got the young guys in the midfield, but your overall team speed is not. Oh. You know, it's, it's something to be desired with Militao and those guys in the back. They're, you know, they're, they're strong defenders, but they're not the fastest crew. Um, I'm one to talk right now with Busquets in the middle, of it, but that's a whole other thing. But I'm just saying, like, <laughs> your fast players stand out because they're so much faster than the other guys on the pitch. That's why Vinny looks so, so much faster because he's defending so much faster than everybody else. And when Valverde comes flying in, he looks faster than everybody else. Yes, yes. <laughs> and obviously so. that makes up the majority of the youth on the squad, obviously, from a leadership perspective. No panic time yet. That's fine. Not at all. Not at all. You guys are in good shape. I would say in good shape. I'd say the draw matters. Like I, like I said, if you get City, City's. A, I think City with Holland would be a bad matchup for anybody. Uh, and just like I said, the way Bayern moves the ball, I think, and the way that you got, you guys both want to, you want to try to catch them on a counter. And I don't think Bayern is a team to be caught on the counter like that. Yeah. Eventually, either PSG, Bayern. Are definitely going to be playing Real in, in one way or the other. Uh, that's just, just it's inevitable of where we're going. Um, and or Chelsea again for the would be the third straight year that Madrid is going against them. Uh, or it's going to be City, but we never have had City in Madrid before the semifinals, uh, which we had last year. So um, it looks like from the top of the group standpoint, the the most up to date in the Champions League and. I mean, we got to give it up to them right now. Uh, Chelsea, AC Milan, Chelsea is now, they have 10 points in the group. Any result wins the group for them, and they are uh, going to be uh, at the bridge, and they will be playing uh, uh, Dino Zagreb next week on a 11-2 yeah. for them to be able to, to win that group when we're – a month ago, we were unsure whether they were going to qualify. Uh, yeah, so I mean, they won. They won those two games against uh, Milan, and that's that flipped everything. Potter's yeah. at the helm. Has not lost, Charles. He's not lost. No blemishes on his record. I had, what are, I what are to, your thoughts on They got the, the, fan, the fans. The fan base talking real spicy. I had to pull out my NES to beam the other day to, to calm them down. The boys was talking crazy. I had to, you know, I was, I was, I was going down, and then, you know, they, ever since I, I seen a lot of turtlenecks in these streets. Done. I seen, I seen these. I, hey, he getting it done, man. I, I, I was a little. I didn't think he was ready for the big time. Um, I do appreciate that he that he's got Chalaba in there. Uh, I think he is a real rock um, for them, and like has some real, real potential. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, we support. You know, on this pod, we support all soccer, all football that's black. Um, Always. Um, so really like to see the young boys out there. Um, even shout out to Hudson Adoy scoring for Leverkusen the other day, uh, as well. Uh, Chelsea boys out here all day. Um, but yeah, man, they're looking good. They're looking formidable. Um, they've been able to get, you know, Fofana in there as well. Um, we'll see, but I, I definitely, I would take you guys in that tie as well. You know, history, you know, history matters in soccer. Does. So Does. You, guys got, you guys got history. Yeah. Yeah. No question about it. Very much we'll be able to see. Want to make sure we're monitoring them. We got to also uh, on the uh, Tuesday matches, City Dortmund. It is now City just needs a – actually, City is should be through if they don't lose by more than four goals. Uh, currently, in terms of the goal difference, actually, they would have to lose by five or more. Uh, so let's be done with them. This is an interesting group here, and I think it matters for – to ensure that Real is not playing them. Um, and and would have been Zidane's last year for when they won the Champions League on his farewell. PSG, Benfica are at 11 points each. Juventus is actually in trouble of even making the Europa League. Uh, Maccabi, if we, we'll just, we don't know. We'll just, we just don't know. I mean, they beat up on Juventus 2-0 uh, uh, before, so pending. Right now, Juve has the goal difference. But Benfica is a solid group, uh, very solid solid unit. Not sure. I mean, but as Thierry Henry said, when the front three wants to pass to each other, when Messi, Neymar, 
And then Bappe passed each other and goes, they are unstoppable. Bro, they put up a touchdown this week. I don't care they who you're playing. A fucking touchdown in soccer is crazy, bro. What are your thoughts on PSG in their long term? Uh, how uh, should we say their quest uh, for uh, a European championship? Can you say uh, Leo Messi eight Ballon d'Ors? If brother, he my man. Oh my god, he looks phenomenal. Can't can't I ain't gonna hold uh, it, bro. Shout out to Roy Jones Jr. Y'all must have forgot. Uh, my boy's back. El Capitone is back. My boy yes, he here, is. My boy out here cooking. He ain't your boy, though, right now. He's, he's, he's old, my boy. He's my cousin. Okay. okay. He's, my, he's, my, he's my 10 forever. I love you, Ansu, but he's my 10 forever. You know this. Mm-hmm. Uh, but and he, as he voted for fucking uh, Pedri and Gavi back-to-back in, the, uh, in our, in our Kepo Awards, too, so we, we always appreciate it. Um, yeah, man, they're a squad. But I ain't going to front. Like, when we talk about teams that, you know, and when we talk about these matchups for the knockout rounds, like, I wouldn't. I wouldn't sleep on Benfica. They 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 got some Leon vibes to them, some Ajax vibes. A little to them. bit, like, yes. Boys out there, like you know, they gonna, they ain't scared. And you know, they I know they 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 keep losing big players, but they keep replacing them with, with nice little Portuguese players. Like these, you know, we gotta think about Port. I think we we are underrating. Uh, you know, not to say we can't even say we're underrating that as as Jose won the won the Champions League with Porto, but um, yeah, that needs to be. Respect, like, respect. But, you know, what I'm saying, like, we don't sleep on the fact that, like, you know, even when we talk about the the, the big five leagues, like, we don't mention, um, you know, Portugal in that in that in that big five even. Um, so, like, I just I just think sometimes we need to put some respect on their name. They're putting out hella hella amount of talent out yeah. of there. So, like, I, like I said, them, uh, Napoli, of course, uh, these are the teams that I'm I'm looking forward to see who they who they draw. Yeah, I think those teams are are explosive and can give uh, one of these big dogs some issues. Definitely one for us to monitor. Let's keep tabs on them. I like them a lot. Excellent. I think their manager is very good. Uh, so that takes us uh, through the Tuesday matches uh, specifically. In, and in, Oh, excuse me. One, one more on this front. Liverpool would have to beat Napoli by more than four goals, and Napoli would have to, uh, in, in terms of that return tie. Not going to happen. I... <laughs> I don't want. To, I wouldn't want to see Liverpool as a round of sixteen if I'm winning this particular facts, group. Facts. They will be honestly. I think Liverpool whoever's is the, the best. second team, and that's going to be the second best team, and the second best, the second, the best second place team. Yes, there's no question about yeah. that. Napoli's going to win this group, and Napoli's dangerous. They are crazy for them. They may, right now, form wise, they may be the best in Europe. Form. In terms of playing, they aren't the best team in Europe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But and on form wise, on their, on their day right now, yeah. But Liverpool's a problem, and in, in the Champions League, Klopp, Klopp went from just to tell you how like where so, like, where football is uh, and how it changes. They went from losing to Nottingham Forest in a afternoon lunch tie on a Saturday, came back. And handled their business on a Tuesday, three nil in order for them to. And this is against I, IX is no joke at the yeah. at, 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 at Amsterdam, no doubt about it. But Liverpool is like, you know, let's just we're just scorching this. We ain't worried about the last leg. They may chill, depending on who they got in the um, in the Premiership uh, that week. But the Napoli game is not nearly as big uh, anymore, just because it would be tough for them to to get over. So get some young pups, some some run. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But the demise of Jurgen Klopp, I mean, he was here and then down. And then when you beat City, bro, you beat City at your own crib, but then lose to Nottingham Forest on the road. Like something didn't add up and then 3 nil. It, 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 it Obviously, words of his demise were greatly exaggerated, Jurgen Klopp. But at the same time, that don't mean that he's old, Jurgen. Mm-hmm. What are your thoughts there? Uh, it's It's, it's – it's amazing with uh, what an integrated Euro- Uruguayan striker and an active Egyptian will do for you. It's as simple as that. Like players got to play. Mo got more involved. Uh, Nunez got health. Got 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 unsuspended and has gotten actually been able to get a run of games to get get in, integrated into the team. Now they're scoring goals. They're back to Liverpool. And like I, I, you know, the the problems at the back aren't so much of an issue um, in many of these teams' issues. As long as they're scoring goals, the problems at the back would be a little bit hidden. 
And if Liverpool comes out and gets that first goal, shit, they're good money. Now you got now the teams opened up, and now teams they can play. And when they're playing somebody head up, they can play any team in the world head up. Right, right. Yeah, there's no doubt about it. I, I love that about them. That's what makes them dangerous. Uh, the draw is ever so important, which we'll cover that uh, next week about once we kind of finish all the tables. Let's get into the Wednesday matches. We'll save your boys for last, unfortunately. Uh, what exactly happened by your naked eye with Tottenham cool. in the VAR situation? Just want to get your thoughts. Are you like an offsides is offsides no matter what, but just like you see something like that and that took like the joy out of watching soccer. Offsides has become the Des Bryant, is it a catch? Yes. Um, Like I don't. After after, after, after the Barcelona situation with uh, Ansu being onside and then offside and then the hand, I don't know. I just don't know anything anymore. And the Mm -hmm. fact that like um, uh, as a, as a, as a person who's still learning the sport. Sure. Like the, to me, these are like, I'm like, I don't, my, sometimes my interpretation of some of these finer points of some of these rules isn't always the greatest either. So what I think should be offsides and what it like, I'm, that shit is, that shit was dicey though. And I just feel like they, I just, at this level, it, it has to get, it has to be right. Like, yes. no matter yeah. what, the, no matter what the decision in the scenario, there are three people who like, the, the, I don't think people know how much, like, you you know, I don't think people in, um, ever, we won't ever really talk about the fact that the, co- the coaches and, you know, all the managers had to go to, like, school and have, like, a thesis and shit, like, the level of, like, work that people had to do in that. Yeah. Same thing for the refs and stuff. Like, the refs should, like, you shouldn't be that good and you guys not be able to figure that out. Yeah. Like, where's the, where is the Dean Blandino of, 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 of the situation? Yeah, I mean... It, it was getting a little ridiculous. No question. That's all I'm like. That shit is is beyond frustrating. Like it should. It just. What was the point of introducing that shit if you're not gonna if it's not gonna actually clarify anything? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's but, part of it too. I mean, but, there's too much money. Yeah. Charles, there's too much mm-hmm. money on the line. And it will come to that in a little yeah. bit. And then at the end of the day, it happened in Tottenham. What's surprising about that? <laughs> yes, yes, that's like kind of the mo. It's kind of where they kind of land. Uh, like we're yeah. like we're like the all shucks crew. Like that's what we do. <laughs> I love that. And that's I want to put this on wax. If sun, they sell Sunny, <laughs> I'm up for I'm up for sale. Yeah. Well, let's put, in my, put in my transfer request too. Yeah, transfer request because we ain't getting sold. That's different. We we we've been done with being sold since the '60s. Yes. <laughs> of, the, of the 19th century. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I mean, we're not going to be sold. I mean, apparently, according to somebody, it was a choice. I was. <laughs> <laughs> was Callback. Call what back. If, what if we got Van to watch a, a soccer match with us? That would be fucking hilarious. Van would, Van have would to. love soccer. Van would love soccer. Oh, bro, he'd be so into the, like, the tribal shit of it. 100%. Yeah, yeah, he'd love that shit. Yeah, it'd be a choice. And then you go to a Galaxy game, but he's not the same. Oh, yeah, it'd be at traffic, that's a little different deal as a brother, too. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Inter Milan 4, Victoria, no need to even talk about them. Um, but the Qatarian, Mr. Lukaku with a nice goal. He's kind of back. I, but I, would, I, guess, I wish he would have played. I feel like if he had played the entire group, Barcelona would have advanced. I didn't like that that match was happening prior to your match. Why are those not happening at the same time? Because I think we would have seen Barca in a little bit better mm-hmm. spirits. Bayern yeah. scored early, but that's because I think Bayern, like, or because Barca wasn't working up for the game. That was a missed opportunity to have the Champions League. Yeah, they definitely could have had, the, had that vibe. And then actually, you know, the, the crowd would have been feeding up. You would have, you have felt it in the crowd with every uh, every goal. I mean, but, I mean, that first goal game, and I mean, because what, what happened? You know, Hector Bellerin so used to playing in the in the Europa that you know, just, down. He, you know, that's the, that's the level he's used to playing at. He's not used to Champions League football, and, and it definitely showed. Um, <laughs> so I just just want to point that out. But man, I mean, we tried. Like I can't be mad at it, but it definitely took the wind out of our sails. We definitely didn't play with the same energy. But sure, you know, kudos to Inter. Like I can't be as much shit as I want to talk about. You know, that I hate it, but the, the, the boys have come out and done their job. Yeah, like, no they, doubt. They, they like they they they're, they're they're shitty in the league. Their coach is about to get fired, and they. Managed to write the ship well enough. I don't. I'm. 
I think there's another point to be had. Uh, what have what does it uh, to gain the world and lose your soul is the, is the soccer version of that to make it to the knockout rounds, but you might not qualify for Champions League next year. Yeah, yeah. Um, so the interway might do that. So what are they in eighth eighth right now? Yeah, yeah. So they need to you know they can they if they have the all the inter fans can can have that if you don't make Champions League next year. Yeah, they can keep it rolling. But so um, they got to get going. In the yeah. league, no, yeah. no they got to get uh, rolling in this Scudetto. What if I told you that Club Bruges, FC Porto, are moving to the next round of the Champions League? Ten points, nine points, respectively. Atletico and Bayern and the Club Bruges, uh, Porto just played, but it doesn't matter what Atleti does; they can't get to nine points. And Bayern, Le- Bayern Leverkusen, if Things happen to go a certain way. If they beat Club Brews, which we'll see, but and then Atleti was to only get a result or to only beat Porto, or I mean if they were to lose to Porto, Leverkusen's going to the Europa, and then Atleti only pretty much has the Copa del Rey and the domestic cup to get through. We got the Super Cup. The Super Cup, excuse me. That's, that's a problem. That's a problem. Maybe it is time for Simeone to bounce if this happens to be what happens. I, I, I yes and no. I, I, well, I know. He's family. Okay. But I would like to see him. I'd like to see him in the uh, Premier League. Really? Yeah. With whom, though? I, just like, I like to see people do different challenges. I okay. just like to see, I like to see, like, it's one thing that I've, um, as much as I, you know, we can't stand the fact of what, what's going on in Tottenham and how it kind of stays the same. I do like the fact that I've seen a lot of the managers that I've know at least try their hand at trying to fix that shit. Yeah. Okay. But you know what I'm saying? Like, I like the fact that Jose at least went, Conte's there now, uh, Nuno went, like, I at least appreciate the fact that like Tottenham's going to have a decent manager <laughs> and like some guys, like, I just like, I like the fact, I, I like that. I like the fact that Angelotti has been around, um, you know, try your, try your hand other places. I don't, I don't think it's in the world. Like. I think, you know, Javi's eventually going to get fired, but I think he'd be fine in some other countries. Like, I think he, could, he can do that style. I think um, I read a report the other day that they were interested in Pirlo um, for the Barca job before they picked up Javi. So, I mean, really? Yep. Wow. Okay. Um, that surprises yeah. me, by the way, just because it's about family. But, you know. Well, Pirlo kind of family. I'm so pretty much kind of family, man. There's a couple of dudes, there's a couple of players on some of the teams because we played them so much that they're kind of like a very appreciated by the Barca people. I see. I see. And just because of the classiness and things of that nature. That's fine. Some, some people are just like by association, like Mueller. I like we, I think all of Barca fans, like because like Mueller always be, he'd be cool. They play Byron so much. He's like the one dude that's kind of like relatively like, even though they'd be beating the shit out of us, he'd be super nice with everybody. Yeah, I see what you see. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. Yeah, that's the, that's the homie. <laughs> <laughs> After he whipped our ass. Hey, I seen that video though. I was like, it's over. No, I, I knew I knew we were gonna lose on Tuesday when they posted the video going to the plane. That's all oh, shit. So none of our uh teams actually got a win or a mm. result. Uh mm. Arsenal on Thursday. However, they are still top of the group in the Europa League, but the, you can tell some of the chinks in the armor they have forced. If they lose to Forest, ML will be panicking a little bit. Because are we arsenal? Is arsenal arsenaling, if you will? Uh, to use a quote from uh, the Ass Kingdom, Asling. Like, are we out here not on our stuff and taking care of business, or is this the what I think is happening in terms of regression of quality of play? People care about the World Cup a little bit more than their domestic club. Are we going to talk about that? How right now a, a bunch of motherfuckers is out here uh, right now? Not, not doing, Raphael Barad <laughs> said, "I am out. I, I don't worry about my equity. injury. I ain't, no need for me to rice. I don't need to be. Don't be rested. I ain't elevating shit. I ain't ice it, compression elevate. I ain't doing none of that. I will see you." After Christmas is what he I mean, told. See y'all on Boxing Day. He said to all them Red Devils, dog. See you on be, Boxing Day. That's crazy. What so do you fault it? Like what do you, what do you see with this? Um I I understand it. I wouldn't say I fault it, but I understand it. Yeah. It's every four years. Yeah. 
And they are on a potential like, back to back. I'm just saying, if, if Messi never plays in, if like Messi misses this World Cup, is his last World Cup. This is probably Varane's last World Cup. It's Varane's last World Cup. It is. I mean, like, he's he was a very intricate part. You know, in and this is this is the t- like, and y'all feel good. Y'all got your world ranking. Then he did came like you know what I'm saying. Like you feel good about your squad. Like, and you look around, and I mean, shit looking alright over here, but. I got yeah. all, and not even. I don't even think it's that. You start out the season trying to be in good form because you want to make the team. But like once you know you're going to make the team, once the provisional came out, right. that's when shit got real. The provisional came out last week. Now my is like, hold on, training camp starting. How long? Right. Like, how, like once the provisional squad came out, I think brain switched. It's Saliba is coming up, the young boy. Right. We'll see what Day 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 Shop does. But you know, you got to just stay on your toes. This is what it is. It's good. It's good competition. Not to mention, but you know, some people are going to get hurt. You know, who, two or three people are going to get hurt during uh, pre, you know, during training too. One hundred percent. So one hundred percent. Are we okay with it though? I mean, as an owner of a team, where are you at? With I, it? Like I, your I understanding. Think is, I think this is the cost benefit analysis of having a mid year World Cup. You just got to be. Yeah, you got to keep it real. Why? Why? Why do? I understand it from some standpoint that, uh, like, you know, with the Rahu situation we got going on at Barca, yeah. um, he's in a race to get fit, but like, he still got the, he took the, he took the, the, the longer surgery that the team recommended. I feel you. Um, okay. To get his shit all the way fixed. But I think there's a chance he might get to play. Um, I just think for some of these, like, South Americans, it's like, they're not even, like, I think it's different for maybe English people playing in England. Okay. But like, I can't imagine why, like, why, like, not even. I'm not even trying to knock Real Madrid, but like, I'm, why are Rodrigo and Vinny like worried about Real Madrid right now? Like, okay, we we got through the group stages. We're good here. We're good on these fronts. We're we're three points up on Barca. Like, even if we lose a game right now or whatever, like, we'll be we can make that up and we can make that up in January. In January, right? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, why? Like, I, I would, the only people that I wouldn't say have that advantage right now are fucking Liverpool players. <laughs> like the people who are like in spots to like they you need points. Yeah, but Mo's yeah. not going to the thing. But you know what I'm saying? Like some of those guys, like Virgil, needs to get his shit together, just in general. <laughs> no question. No question. No question. I'm uh. They could not team make the uh, provisional. Oh, I don't know. I have to double check that. I have to see. I. I don't I like him. I like him a lot. I've noticed the soccer quality has been bad, or not bad. It's not been what it was. It maybe maybe cats are a little leggy. But the quality of play was not what it was around Labor Day. Like no. once folks got three weeks in, and once again, I'm not. It's not that I'm saying like you need to think about who pays you uh, on the regular basis versus the World Cup. But like also, elite players know that there's glory to be had everywhere. Messi looks great, and he was doing mm-hmm. some different moves. And then I'm seeing the placement of his shots. I'm like, oh, he's on something different right now. He he's sees trying. something. He's practicing. He's or Dybala, if he's – they're saying maybe he's going to be healthy at some point. Can mm-hmm. they just get through the group and then he's back? Um, yeah. Well, he's he's I'll practicing. He's fine. You, he's, like, almost fine-tuning. I could, like, yeah. what he's doing is, like, he's working on his game. Yeah, I can see that. Shining, shining up a little bit. That's cool. That's what's up. We uh, definitely wanted to holler at you about the World Cup stuff. Arsenal, 2-0, still top of the group. Like I said, I'm a little worried. But Thursday football is in your future, sir. Just for folks to understand, give some background on, yes, there is monopoly money, but there still is meaning that some of that monopoly money will be a little less. Yes. And by a little less, I think the number I saw was $35 million, 35 million euros less. What does this mean for y'all? For not to get, I mean, every everything was kind of banking on, yeah, we're going to be back in Chase. This, this is where the... Um, the finagling of money in soccer, um, the, the creative uh, accounting, um, we'll just knock a salary off, make up that thirty-five. It's you all we got to do. Somebody? No, not sell anybody. PK makes PK to get PK salary off or boost get salary. Once you get that salary off the books, like the same the same way that they're framing the way um, we owed Antoine Griezmann salary this year was thirty-six million. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. By selling him to, to Atletico for twenty, and then not paying him the thirty, the thirty six he was owed, you took fifty six off the books. Yeah, I'm sure they're going to use that same math to offset that thirty five by not okay. paying PK his twenty seven million he's owed or whatever that his salary for next year. They will, you know, what I'm saying it'll be fine. Not maybe over time, maybe there's some payouts and stuff like that, but and there's loyalty involved. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah so. a fact. So some people, I think it'll it'll work. I think we, I don't really see like with this squad we have, I don't see anybody getting sold. I think this is kind of the team we have, minus the adding of a a, a right back in a in a defensive mid. Um, but I think I think the the room is gonna. I think like busy, if Boozy's not there next year, mm-hmm. or PK's not there, or Jordy Alba's not there next year, that's pretty much twenty million dollars you're saving. Okay, so, so you're ready to say bye to some folk. I mean, because because you have to, right? I mean, dude, you serve the club well. Go play. Like I still like I like I like watching uh, Bob Rakovic at um, Rakovic at at Sevilla. I like seeing my old my guys. Like they're still my guys. That's fair. My guys are my guys. He conquered the world. These people literally have conquered the world. Like especially those three people. They've they've won everything that is to win. They literally from that two thousand you know the the prime Spanish years they conquered the world. <laughs> That's so very true. To say. Two two European championships, a World Cup, the cha- and the treble. Yeah, they were different. They, they conquered the world. Yeah, they were different. Um, I or our both our teams have a little bit of buys, even though playing at Valencia, you just kind of never know. Uh, but Barcelona, Real, Cavani, yeah, yeah, Barcelona should take three points, and then you got to get back going. Got to get back going. See the eyes on the prize. Let's just go win every game on the yep. domestic table. I think we're gonna be. I, I think we're gonna be fine in the league. I think we're gonna win some hardware this year. I'm not like super terrible, like worried about it. Um, we might, I don't think we might. We might fall in the, in the Europa, but I think we're we're gonna either the the Copa or the we'll get the Super Cup. Um, mm-hmm. We'll we'll get on the podium this year. Not great matchups in English football. That also means stay away from the bets because you just never know where it can go. Uh, Tottenham's on the road against Bournemouth. Uh, Wolves, Brentford, there's not a lot of great matchups. No. So take care of things in England and La Liga. But that does give us a little segue before we end the show. World Cup. How are we feeling about what we saw with Pulisic playing a right winger, almost got him near right back, uh, and Potter just trying to get him going a little bit, like, Let's try some other things. Can, yeah. we, can we get going there? From what you've seen out of him this year, are there any way for us to be positive uh, less than two – or oh, no, it'll be exactly two – for less than three weeks uh, from the start of the World Cup? Um, like, give the Americans some hope. Like, or give them the real. One of the two. Uh, I think that we are talking about the wrong player, and if we're going to give any Americans some airtime, we need to give Weston – I'm, okay. I'm I'm trying to salvage this shitty situation, McKinney. Um, all <laughs> his, his flowers. He's been over in Italy doing his thing. Mm-hmm. Um, the the real Captain America, much like uh, Captain America went from a white guy to a black guy, so has the the Captain America title for me. Um, he is my he. He's been doing his thing. Like every time, like even when they like I said, every time they lose, even when like. They may have a goal or two. Like he's out there, like for a midfielder. Like that man is 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 been making. A, he's been pretty consistent in his impact. It was more of a was he getting on the field or not? As far gotcha. as Pulisic goes, I mean, yeah, he just like at the end of the day, nobody ever said the man couldn't play. It's do you, can you stay your best ability is your availability? Is playing him for another three weeks? Is that gonna is Potter's trying to get him in the flow for the next three weeks, two to three weeks? Is he gonna get hurt in the next two or three weeks? And by by doing that, like. He, I just, I don't know. Like I, like I said, I still don't think they're making it out of the group, even if he does his thing. Yeah. Dirty. He's just not, he's, I, I, he's just not that guy. Well, there it is. We're going to try to give you hope. Maybe things will change. Weston is that guy. But oh, I'm yeah, Weston's like, best player. But I'm just saying for ch- the level of team, I think, I think that Pulisic needs to be on Villa. Or one of those level teams, a West Ham. I think he can play there and play consistently and be fine. I don't think he's good enough to play. We just talked about Chelsea as battling for the Champions League yes. right now with the new improved squad. He's not that guy. He's not good enough to play at that level for the new, especially for where the new Chelsea is trying to go. Oh yeah, because Potter's got it right yeah. for sure. But if uh, anybody's humbling some folks, I mean, he's a manager to do so. Um, well, great brother. This is always our. Aw- it's under sad circumstances. This is the first time of where both both teams have lost, and thankfully, you know that's you couldn't say that in the last two years. But we made it to 
Um, we will, by the time folks hear this, it'll be a day or so before Halloween, but we have made it to Halloween and our team's finally lost in the same match day, if you will. Uh, but all is not lost. All is not lost. And once again, everybody understands that the World Cup is knocking at the door. Michael Lofton, Charles Little, next week will be fun. Our next uh, soccer pod, uh, Kicking It With The Brothers podcast, will be after the Champions League. We may have some instant reactions uh, to some of the some of the results. There still is a slight possibility that Spurs make Spurs. But I'm okay with that. There it is. Have a good one, brother.